There are still more questions than answers at this point in the investigation into Sunday's deadly shooting in downtown Sacramento. They include concerns about the safety in the K Street corridor area and the city's response to the shooting. Today, ABC 10's Becca Habegger asked Mayor Daryl Steinberg some of the questions we're hearing from you. Thank you very much. Let's start with this comment by Mayor Daryl Steinberg at a news conference Sunday afternoon as he encouraged people to continue visiting the downtown area despite the early morning shooting, which happened as bars were closing. Come down you know, for a game, come down for a concert, come down to eat. Don't stay out till two in the morning, but come on down. As one person responded on Twitter, this statement gave me big victim blaming vibes, which is astounding considering six of the shooting victims are dead. Asked about his comment, Steinberg said, I think the city is safe and I support the city staying open until two in the morning. So I can clarify those comments. Um, I guess I was just speaking from, you know, my own experience that, uh, you know, I like going out and having a great time, but I just like, I just like going to bed early. We also asked why the city did not cancel big events downtown Sunday evening, like the Kings game, while the crime scene was still taped off and before any suspects were arrested. I don't have uh, the ability to make that kind of decree, but I support uh, the Kings going ahead. I think it is important that we live our lives, that we take precautions, and at the same time, come downtown and enjoy all the, the good and great things that are happening here. We just put $8.1 million of city money through the American Rescue Plan into what we call clean and safe Sacramento. The money is being used to enhance lighting, enhance security, and provide more uh, bodies, more security officials on the ground in downtown Sacramento and old Sacramento. So we're doing everything we can. Now, the mayor points out Sacramento police took some 1,600 guns off the streets last year and says he's in favor of stricter gun control when it comes to high capacity automatic weapons. Separately, but still related to the crime prevention point, Mayor Steinberg, San Joaquin County's district attorney and criminal justice reform advocates from around the state sent a letter to the governor and other state leaders today. They're asking to do better and spend more in addressing the rising crime seen during the pandemic, including violent and also retail theft. Now, the letter asks for nearly $3 billion in various investments to expand crime prevention programs and provide help for victims. The plan has been in the works for months, but advocates say Sunday's shooting in Sacramento highlights the desperate need for change.